Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to do a tutorial on FIFO accounting in Excel. Um, this tutorial is an Excel tutorial. It's not meant to teach you accounting or tax. So this is only how I choose to do it. It's got nothing to do with uh, tax advice or proper accounting or whatever. So make sure if that's what you're looking for, that you seek a proper tax accountant or whatever it is, a professional. Here, I'm just teaching you the Excel bit to make things work. So what is FIFO accounting? FIFO accounting is used by people who own businesses in buying and selling products and they make a profit and they need to report to the government how much profit that they're making. So um, how do you do that? Well, firstly, let's get some record for buying. Okay, because in order to buy and sell, you must buy something in the first place. So let's buy some stuff. Okay, so let's buy some stuff in uh, January this year. So let's say we buy something on the 6th of January 2020. So what do we buy? We buy some pens. Okay, we buy some pens off... Um, uh, overseas supplier or factory or whatever it is and the cost price okay so how much uh, do you buy them for okay so I'm gonna say cost price per unit oops cost price per unit all right each pen from your supplier overseas costs 20 cents all right some really cheap pens and how many did you buy? Number of units. And let's say you buy 200 pens. You buy a lot of pens that you're going to sell later. So then you write total cost. Total cost is 200 times 20 cents. It's $40. All right, you spend $40 on 200 pens. Really cheap. Okay, so now you buy some more pens. So let's say in February, February the 3rd. Oops, 3rd Feb 2020, you buy some more pens, and this time you pay 25 cents per unit, costs a little bit more, and let's say you only buy 150 pens this time, because it costs a bit more, so you probably buy a little bit less, so now the total cost is 37.50, and then you we're just going to buy it three times. Um, so that you can see it a little bit better. February the 20th, you buy even more pens. And this time, it's 23 cents. Okay, and you buy 130 because you got sick of buying pens. Okay, so now you got all these pens and you want to sell them. Okay, so record for selling. All right, because now you're going to sell your pens. So let's say you start selling it in March. Third of, uh, let's go 13th of March. Okay, now you're going to sell some pens. Okay, so obviously when you're selling, um, you probably want to sell a number of pens. How many do you want to sell? How many do you want to sell? So let's say you found someone to buy um, 100 pens. Okay, you found someone in Australia to buy 100 pens and your selling price per unit, selling price per unit, And uh, obviously, you want to sell it more than 20 cents to make a profit. You're probably going to sell it for 50 cents each. Okay. And your total selling price is 50 cents times 100 is $50. 
Okay. Now here comes the interesting bit. Okay. Why is it called FIFO accounting? FIFO accounting. FIFO stands for first in, first out. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, you're going to see it very soon. In order to work out the profit, We need to know the cost price per unit. Okay, so what is the cost price per unit? Well, if you look on the left, we bought the pen three times. Is the cost price 20 cents per pen or is it 25 cents per pen or is it 23 cents per pen? The answer is because the first time we bought the pen, we bought it for 20 cents. We have to sell the pens that we bought first before we sell the pens that we bought second. Okay, so we got to sell 200 pens at 20 cents, let it all go, before we sell these pens, before we sell these pens. So whichever pens you buy first are the pens that you sell first. So now the cost price per unit is going to be 0 0.2 because it's going to be 0 0.2 because these are the pens 100 pens I have to they have to come from this 200 so cost price per unit is 200 and the total cost is 20 cents times 100 which is $20 so the profit is equal to profit is equal to selling price minus cost price which is $30 you made $30 profit okay so let's try sell some more pens on the 20th of March you sell more pens and this time you sell 150 uh, let's say 135 pens okay now here's the problem what is the selling price because if you put oh sorry what is the cost price so let's say we just fill some things in for the selling price okay let's say you sold it for 45 cents each okay and the total selling price that's just a formula Okay, now here's a problem. What is the cost price of these pens? The cost price you have to choose from here because that's how much they cost you. But the first 200 pens cost you 20 cents. You sold 100 of them already at 50 cents each. So out of these 200 pens, you only have 100 le left. Okay, so 100 out of 135 pens will be 20 cents. So you can't put 20 cents here and leave the 135 here because 35 of these pens are now drawn from the second row, right? 35 of these pens, they don't belong here. They belong here. So therefore, you have to change that to 100 and bring the 35 down here. Okay, again, you only sold them for 45 cents. Your selling price is 15.75 for the 35 pence. These 35 pence cost you 25 cents each because they are now from the second batch that you bought it for. And then you can now drag these down. You can now fill these down because that is the total cost comes from the cost price. Uh, times by the quantity the first 100 first 200 pens they cost you 20 cents each so you put 20 cents here the next 150 pens cost you 25 cents each but you only sold 35 of them and um, so you can see the cost price is 25 cents total cost is cost price times quantity 25 cents times 35 is 8.75. Okay, so that's how you do first in, first out. Now, you might start to see a bit of a problem. 
and that is there was a lot of things here that we had to do in our head. I split it up 135 into 100 and then 35. How did I know to do that? Because I had to visually look at this column and go, okay, 200, I've used up 200, so the 35 must come from here. I had to do all that mentally. Now that's not good because if you have to do that every time, your Excel is not automated, okay? And you have to do a lot of manual labor. So the next lesson we're gonna start talking about the formulas for making Excel do this for you automatically. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.